Hey everybody, welcome to an advanced Photoshop CS6 tutorial where we are going to go over how to use content aware scaling to do some pretty advanced scaling techniques. And it's actually really easy, but some people don't know what content aware scaling is, so whatever. And uh, my name is Buddy Blackford, so let's start getting in on this tutorial. What content aware scaling does is it looks at your image and sees what the important parts are. So it's going to look at this image and see that this um, lifeguard tower is the important thing in the image. And when it scales the image, it's going to try to keep this the same size while using while like using stuff like the sky and the sand and stuff. Those are going to be scaled or cropped out or whatever it do, whatever it does. So um, let's start with this now. Now you can either select make a selection and you can um, edit the selection that you made or you can edit the whole entire picture so what we're gonna do first is edit the whole entire picture so I can see so you can see what's going on so the first thing I want to do though is show you what it does when it scales on its own so I'm gonna hit control T to bring up my free transform and when I scale it like this you can see how this uh, guard tower gets skinny and everything gets smushed together and all that jazz. We're going to hit um, cancel up here. We're going to cancel that and we're going to go to content aware scaling. So let's go to um, edit and come down here to content aware scale. Alt shift control C if you want to use that. So watch what happens now when I go to scale from the same exact side. Look at the sand and how it kind of like meshes together and the same as the water. And now you notice that the uh, the guard box for uh, the lifeguard box there or whatever it is, the lifeguard tower I guess, that's the same size and content aware scaling recognize that that is the same size now it's starting to crush in a little bit where it can by trying to, but it still tries to keep the uh, decent size now when you get to something like this you can see that some of the legs are broken in half and stuff like that where it tried to scale and then the roof is like distorted a little so you can't go like all out right next to it and try and keep the size you would just use a crop tool for that obviously but you can scale part of the image and still keep the size of your lifeguard tower. So that's really cool. Now we've got a couple of different um, options up here. This is the anchor point of from where you're scaling. So it's your reference point. And just click on any one of the dots to set a different reference point from where you want to scale. You can enter in um, your different guideline or enter in your different uh, heights and widths and all that stuff for you so you can um, adjust the scaling uh, that way we've got this button right here which sets it back to um, what it was sets it back to zero it's this little triangle button if you have it unchecked it's going to have it at what your scale right here is set at so if I move start moving this you can see that the X axis is going and if I move it this way you can see that the Y axis is moving over here on these so I'm gonna cancel and then we're gonna go back so we can have our edit content to wear scale so we can have our options back up here now you can adjust the width and the height and right now they are locked so if I adjust the width to 50% of what it was the height should also be affected. Is it not locked? Oh, now it's locked. So, go back. Edit. Oh man, I can't undo it. There we go. Every time you have to click on it again, which is pretty annoying. I wish it just wouldn't have like a, a reset button or something like that. So, if you have this button unclicked, it'll do it independently. If you have this button actually clicked, then it will resize the scale and width um, around the same size so that way there and it's going to use the content aware scaling when it does this so I can put it back to a hundred and it'll be what it, back, what it was before now this amount here 
Um, it it's the amount of content aware aware scaling versus the amount of regular scaling. So I put this if I put this amount to zero, it's just going to be like a regular scale, and it's going to basically do it like that. If I put this to 50%, it's going to be half content aware scaling and half regular scaling, and obviously at 100%, it's all content aware scaling. So that's a, a little thing you can use there. Adjust that to get like different kind of effects if you if you're going for that kind of stuff. Um, protect here, you can use a an alpha channel to protect what you want to use. So if you had an alpha channel for this um, guard box here that you created, it would know to just use the guard box or to use the lifeguard box, and it would know to use that alpha channel to protect the lifeguard box. If you don't know what an alpha channel is, I uh, suggest you look it up, but it's basically a black and white image where the white part is um, what is um, masked out or what you want to keep, and the black area is pretty much what you don't want to keep. It's uh, hard to explain just without any, like, tools or anything like that. It's one of the harder things to explain in graphic design or motion graphics or anything like that. So um, I suggest that you uh, go in and look that up. Just type in alpha channel definition in Google and it'll give you a, probably like a Wikipedia site that you can look it up. Thank God for Wikipedia. The next uh, button we have is protect skin tones. So that's this little person right here and if you have people in your image it's gonna know to protect those um, people because they have skin tones on there so it's gonna preserve those areas now these buttons over here this uh, button with this the like the no sign here that's uh, to cancel your um, whatever you're using and I did that a few times within this tutorial and the check mark here is to commit to the changes that you did Another button for the check mark is just pressing enter. So that's how you use the content aware scaling. It's an advanced scaling technique that's really easy to use. So go ahead and just uh, like use that to um, make your images cool and keep your um, keep your important stuff intact w without having to crop your image or something like that. It's a little bit like cropping, but not so much say you had two people standing on the opposite side of each other in a photo one person's on the far right one person's on the far left and you wanted the content where scale it so those two were closer together but you can but you don't want to crop out the middle because then it's just gonna look stupid so you just content where scale them together and it looks like they're closer in the image so um that's uh, how you do it so we'll see you guys in the in the next tutorial where um, I'm not sure what we're going to be going over, so I'm not going to say, so, but I appreciate you guys watching and watching through the tutorial series. Have a good one, everybody.